<laughs> Stay away, there's a hacker. He's not a hacker. <laughs> he will take your Robux if you're bad. Let him try to take my Robux from me. I will beat somebody up. Who will take your Robux? He, he's not gonna take my Robux. Oh my gosh. There's actually a hacker in here. What the heck? <laughs> Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Where was I sent to? That's what you get, Roses, for calling me fake. Alright guys, so we are here back with another Annie video. So, you guys have been telling me that everything in her place is burning right now. And when I go to her profile over here, it says burning. And so, we're gonna check it out. There is 444,000 people plus that have played this game. That is incredible. But yeah, we're gonna click on the game itself and let's check it out. Oh, somebody just fell. Hey, what's up everybody? I heard this game was burning all over. Yeah, it's pink, hot pink. Stay away, there's a hacker. He's not a hacker, he's just some dude literally all black and sitting down on a chair. He's not a hacker. Be nice to Mr. Midnight Walker. He's not a hacker. <gasps> he will take your Robux if you're bad. Let him try to take my Robux from me. I will beat somebody up. <laughs> Who will take your Robux? He, he's not going to take my Robux. Oh my gosh. There's actually a hacker in here. What the heck? <gasps> Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Where was I sent to? Um... <laughs> Um, what just happened? <laughs> Let me reset. That's what you get, Roses, for calling me fake. Wait, who even are you? We were talking about a midnight whatever. Who are you? I'm after Annie. Okay, then why are you in this game if you're after Annie? I feel like he's an exploiter, basically. Which, he could get banned for that, so... Um, you trying to kill Annie? I'm confused, like, is he actually trying to kill her for real? Or in the game? I don't know. He doesn't even know yet. He doesn't have any plan. He's, like, confused. It's okay. It's all good. Okay, so, somebody brought out the girl over here and um muffy the cat they're like drowning everything these people just like drowning everything <laughs> he has adamant commands too the reason he's so sad is because Addie's mom didn't accept him <laughs> that's funny all right moving on there's a there's a sally face pillow here which is pretty cool because this was added to the game as well. But yeah, we're gonna close this game now and we're gonna look at the Google Docs that Annie posted in her status. So thanks everyone that's in here, but we're gonna close this game and we're gonna go ahead and check out the Google Docs. Okay, so basically she has the Google Docs here. We're gonna copy paste this to see what it says. Hi, I'm Herschel Layton. And as you probably figured out a while ago, I made Annie. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that it's probably the girl that Annie was like following because she follows one person, which is Herschel Layton. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right or wrong. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. But anyways, if you're reading this letter, you've reached the ending of Annie's story. I decided a while ago that I didn't want to drag this out for too long. So after a little over a month, I finally put it to rest. As of April 14th, I've turned 16 years old, which I think is an appropriate time to close the story and move on to other things in my life. I thought I'd try to tie up all the loose threads left by the story by writing this. Hi MTV and welcome to my crib. <laughs> That's funny. Where did it come from? Annie was a story that I wrote when I was 13 years old. I either wrote it as a joke or to try and make something incredibly mundane and innocent Roblox into something spooky. Maybe both? As a result of both of those things, I don't think it really turned out all that great, to be honest. I made the Annie account to try and make the story seem more real. I remember that one person joined the game and I had a really great time milking that story for all it was worth. Here's the video. Oh yeah, I've actually seen this video before. When I made my first uh, Annie video, I searched up and I saw this, which was actually before my video. After all, I forgot about the story that I wrote. I got more and more busy with school and with other creative efforts. 
I've been taking classes to try and get better at cartooning. That's cool. The memory of the story that I wrote was so far from my mind that I was completely clueless about what was going on when I started to get an influx of friend requests on Roblox. I thought it was just a bunch of bots until about the beginning of March when I found the video by Real Roses. To be completely honest, I was a little mortified at first. I thought Annie was buried deep under the ground by this point, but now it was incredibly popular and tied to my name. I actually tried to disown the whole story at first. <gasps> Why? <laughs> I think it's great. Like, I think the story was really great and I'd be proud of that, to be honest. Hence the let's all forget Annie ever existed status update a while back. To be honest, I'm not sure I ever stopped being a little embarrassed about it. Despite all that, though, I ended up continuing the story. I don't think you should be embarrassed about it. I, I mean, I think you should be really proud about it because you know how many people actually, like, clicked on your game and played your game. That was a really cool story. A lot of people are really interested in the story and a lot of people like the story. So I think it's really cool. Actually, really, really cool. Look how I think Moto Moto likes you. <laughs> Cow tools. My original intention for the story was really bare bones and simple. A little girl was just kind of off her rocker. She'd eat dogs and touch sharp things. Then her house burned down and she died. It wasn't that scary. After the story resurfaced this year, a lot of people had their own interpretations. Yeah, we read a lot of like different interpretations for the story and like a lot of people have like written all these like paragraph long interpretations of what they think is going on with Annie and stuff like that. And it helps me to flesh out the story and make it better. Here's what my idea for the revised story ended up being. Okay, so this is the true story about what Annie's background story is. Annie was a little girl, about 7 or 8 years old. She lived alone with her mother. Her father was out of the picture either because he left his wife or just died of natural causes. She also had no siblings, so emphasis on the no siblings. <laughs> so her mother was the only person to look out for her. Her mother, however, had severe issues and took them out on her daughter. If Annie stepped even a little bit out of line, she would punish her in an incredibly cruel and unusual way. Well, that's scary. Locking her in a closet, poking her with sharp, rusty objects, making her eat her dog, and then mocking her for all of that afterwards. After a while, Annie couldn't stand it anymore and plotted to fight back against her mother and escape. She was unsuccessful. Annie's mother gravely injured her and then burned down the house with Annie inside. <gasps> oh jeez. I thought it was actually the opposite. I thought Annie was like burning down the house but she still ended up staying in there but i guess the mom burned down the house while annie was inside and that's why she says it's hot in here or you know what she said annie now lives as some sort of digital ghost living that day over and over in some sort of groundhog day loop annie's place is more or less her personal purgatory I don't think she's evil, she's just a very frightened young girl. That being said, while that's my intention for the story, I don't think it's necessarily the only correct interpretation. If you see Annie's story a different way, and think it played out a different way, that's a valid interpretation too. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm dummy thick. <laughs> what? Okay, frequently asked questions. I get asked questions about the story every day. I kept it pretty vague or deflected the questions to try and encourage people to figure out the story themselves. Now that the stories come to a close, I thought I'd take the questions I was most often asked and answer them. Do you know Annie? Yeah, I wrote the story and made the account. Why did Annie unfriend everyone? I wanted to be fair. When the story was smaller, I accepted every friend request. Right now, Annie has thousands of friend requests and can accept them all. I unfriended everyone so nobody would feel inferior or superior to anyone else. And nobody would have the advantage of instantly following Annie into one of the servers. Well, that's good. To be honest, it's hard to like friend everybody, so I completely understand that. Is Annie real? No. On that note, I'd like to apologize to anyone who thought she was real. My only goal here was to tell an interesting and creepy story. If anyone was genuinely afraid or thought they or anyone else were in any kind of danger, I'm very sorry. Well, I am glad that you said that because actually <laughs> a lot of people were scared and that's why I felt kind of bad myself for making these stories, but I always said that it was fake. From the beginning, I said the story was fake and also, you know, I just try to make sure that everyone knows that it's fake. 
because it's not a real story it's not, and he's not a real person it's just a creepy pasta so thank you for for actually confirming that and telling everybody that it's not a real story does Annie need help? In the story, I guess so. In real life, she's not real. Please don't call CPS. Do you need help? Are you in danger? Yeah, of failing my classes. <laughs> Can I copy your homework? Does Annie have insert family member here? She has a mother who does not have a Roblox account associated with her. She has no father, siblings, cousins, great uncles, etc. And anyone claiming to be so is lying. She doesn't have any friends either. Rip in peace. I have a penchant for hiding jokes inside this game and getting rid of them later. Did you guys find the dancing dog while it was still on the mountain? There's more where that came from. I didn't find that. I didn't see that one. <laughs> I feel sad that I didn't get to see that, but if anybody did catch that, let me know and I want to see what that looked like. Those are the ones just off the top of my head. If you catch me somewhere, I'm happy to answer more questions you guys have or not. Special thanks. I want to thank Blathers for helping me out with Annie. I consulted with him about a lot of things and he even played as Annie a couple times. See, that's the thing. A lot of people were like telling me, um, oh, Annie's gotta be real and it's not Herschel because they both were on at the same time. So I, and I told them, I was like, it could either be that she's using both accounts or that a friend is, you know, playing as, as Annie. I also want to give a big thank you to Be Roses Are Red for telling people about the story. Your videos pushed me out of my comfort zone and encouraged me to try telling a story for the first time in a long while. Aw, you're very welcome. I really enjoyed the story. I and I think you should keep going with like storytelling. You're really good at storytelling. Whether it's like Roblox creepypastas or just like telling stories in general. I think you're really good at that and maybe you should pursue a career in that kind of stuff because I think you're really good at it. Pops to you on that if that's what you want to do though. And also I want to thank you for the incredible story that a lot of people really seem to enjoy and I enjoyed it myself as well. I really liked it a lot so thank you Herschel. Thanks to my brother for supporting me and goofing around with me. Finally, thanks to everyone who played and enjoyed the story. It wouldn't be what it was without you guys. Oh, that's nice. I like this letter. Thank you for like explaining a lot of things to people because um, people had a lot of questions and I tried to like, you know, find out as much as I possibly can and explain to people that it's not real and that, you know, it's just a made up story and who the person behind the story is. So I'm glad that you let that all out and told everybody thank you for that i appreciate that so yeah that was a really cool interesting you know story i really enjoyed it i'd love to see more stories that you make in the future that'd be honestly dope but yeah this is the final chapter to the annie story guys i'm not gonna make any more videos there's nothing to make more out of it like she said it's finished and the story is finished but we're gonna make more stories for other things if there are any other like cool creepypastas i would definitely love to make more um creepypasta stories let me know if there are any cool ones thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys like this please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and make sure to hit the bell if you haven't already but yeah that is all peace out